malado nasi malado nasi fi dinin wa dunya badulun duna manin bin nawali shuja'um fi ikhtiyadin wa ihtinamin ila al islami ma tarkil muhali jawadun ikfa institut Al Madina Travel Salum Jida Sen Info International ak Tori Hatija Nia in America si njital sunyu Imam Muhammad Muntaha Saho ñolen di may emission bu mag bi Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa sallallahu ala mawlana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama We read two lines of um, poetry by the Imam عبد الواحد بن عاشر رحمة الله عليه regarding the five pillars of Islam and we went through the first pillar which is he said the precondition of the rest of the pillars and those that pillar is أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله and we said that there are uh, Uh, how do you call it? Four requirements for Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. And how many requirements for Ashhadu anna Muhammad? And three requirements, mashallah. The first requirement for Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah is that we do not worship anything or anyone but Allah subhanahu wa taala. The second requirement is that we do not make dua, we do not call upon anyone, and we do not rely upon on anyone or anything but for Allah subhanahu wa taala. And the third requirement is that no one is supposed to uh, legislate for us. No one can legislate for for the creation of Allah, but but Allah. Because He knows what is good for us and what is not. And the uh, number four requirement for Ashhadu an La Ilaha Illallah was to what? To love Allah and to love whatever Allah loves and whoever Allah loves. Subhanahu wa. Ta'ala, those are the three requirements, the four requirements of Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Huh? The three requirements of Ashhadu anna Muhammad and Rasulullah to bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah huh? are what? Number one is to tasdiq. Tasdiq wa Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi kulli ma akhbar. To uh, accept and uh, accept that whatever the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said is true. Because the moment to you have the confirm the, the confirmation that he is a, a messenger of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala now you have to accept everything that comes from him subhanahu wa ta'ala how do we uh, know we know that the messengers of Allah yajibu al-rusul al-kiram siqq number one of the conditions for a messenger to be a messenger or to be accepted is that he has to be truthful huh? a truthful person Allah does not send anyone who has ever lied in their life They are trustworthy. They have no fear to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once we know that, we know that whatever they say is, is true. That's the number one requirement for Ashadu Anna Muhammad and Rasulullah. Number two is to obey him subhanahu wa ta'ala. To obey him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam fi kulli amal. Meaning whatever he asks us to do, we do. Whatever he asks us to do, Tell us to not do, we don't do. Allah Ta'ala says, whoever obeys Rasulullah has obeyed Allah. Oh, and then Allah Ta'ala says, Wa ma'ar sallam bi rasulillah li uta'a bi iznillah. Number three is that we do not worship Allah Ta'baraka wa Ta'ala except according to the teachings, to the way, to the sunnah of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So I said in the, at the end that we can say that there are two requirements for ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammad na rasulullah. The two are what? Number one, we do everything we do to please Allah Ta'ala, sincerely for Allah, for no one or nothing but for Allah. Number two, we do it according to the teachings of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Because the Prophet Sallallahu said, Man ahdadha fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu, vuhuwarat. Man amila amalan laysa ali amruna, vuhuwarat. That's the version in Sahih Muslim. Whoever has innovated anything in this affair of ours, Uh, it will have it, he will have it rejected he will have it uh, rejected so that is what we said so these are the these, this is the first pillar of islam then the author says ha thumma salatu wa zakatu fi al qita' wa as-sawm wa al hajj ala man istata' 
ثم الصلاة والزكاة في القطاع والصوم والحج على من يصلى as the holy prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم سيبنا الإسلام على خمس شهادة لا إله إلا الله وأنا محمد رسول الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وصوم رمضان وحج وحج البيت so these four these four pillars are in this in this in this line of water if you must to then uh, among uh, among the pillars of 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 islam is as salah was zakah in giving or um, paying what is called as what is called zakah what it's called zakah uh, when you have enough you give 2.5% of what you have on the annual basis on the annual on the annual basis but that is not for everyone if your job is agriculture you don't give zakat on the annual basis you give zakat whenever you hasad you, you uh, what is hasab harush when you harvest you give zakat wa atu haqqu yawm hisabi even if it takes you for four months or three months or two generally in three months uh, we, we we finish the agriculture you don't you say okay i'm going to keep it until the year no it's different zakatul uh, that's that, that 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 zakat agriculture is different from zakatul uh, zakatul mal and the 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 business man also or the, the 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 person who has a business his zakat also is different from the zakat of a person who has a salary a salary you we just see what is the date you you you, you started the the business and when that, when that day comes back so everything that comes after it you calculate it if you have any even if you sold something yesterday it's going to be part of the of, of, of the zakat even if you bought a new merchandise you're going to calculate it at the price that you bought it for example you have 2 million dollar cash and you have 2 million uh, dollar worth merchandise not the selling price but the buying price you're going to put the 4 million dollars together and you give 2.5% out of out of it that's how you give the zakat so masalat was zakat fil qita' wa sawm we know no for fasting the months of ramadan wal hajj and we know uh, hajj as allah ta'ala says liman istata' inna wal baytin wudi ala an-nas wa lillahi ala an-nas hajj al bayti man istata' ilayhi sabila and for those who are able when you are able to perform hajj financially and physically mentally you then have to go to hajj at least once in your lifetime there is a chapter in this book called kitab al hajj al hajj fardan maratan fil umri arkanuhu in turikat lam tujbari lihram wa sa'i wa quwwa wa arad laylatu al arha wa tawaf wa this is known as islam this is the first uh, part of the three dimensions or the first dimension of the three dimensions of the deen because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after this a man who came to him and asked about these three things when he left he said it was jibril who came to tell you about your deen you can say three things or even four things is a scholar who wrote uh, who did a very beautiful culture uh, a lecture about the forgotten four the forgotten fourth uh, the forget because the prophet the, the 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 man asked about islam he asked about iman he asked about ihsan but he also asked about the hour so he say people they just talk about the three and then they forget the they forget the four and the fourth is very uh, crucial it is very interesting it's very important especially for those of us who live in the in the in the you know during this very difficult and uh, during this time which is known as the end time when you say end time it doesn't mean tomorrow it may, can be tomorrow but it can be also in a million few years a few million years <laughs> because you know this dunya it's a million years nothing to 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 Allah says wa inna yawman inda rabbika ka alfi sanatin mimma mimma to the two other dimensions of this din are iman and ihsan which we will be going through tomorrow or after the not tomorrow inshallah ta'ala and the the alamat as-sa'a as the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's a beautiful hadith that every single one of us has to go through and read uh, scholars they wrote books you know explaining this hadith of jibril alayhi salam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say jibril came yu'allimukum dinakum so whenever we say islam yes islam in the if the in quran when we, when the allah ta'ala only spoke, speaks about islam it means islam and ihsan and and and, and iman but sometimes allah separates he says qalat al arab amanna kullu lam tu'min walakin qulu aslamna so there we know that iman is what you have in your heart and islam is what you do physically in your in your heart. so one of our scholars says we are created um we we are, we, are, we 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 i mean we we are we have three things for us to be, be us for you as a human being you have three things three elements in you you have your aql you have your your your, your bedan you have your ruh say iman addresses the aql the intellect 
So the, the six articles of Iman talks to, to the intellect. And the, the Islam talks to the, to the physical, to, 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 to the body, because all actions, all the things that have to do the Islam, you say, Ashad on la ilaha illallah, you do salah, you do zakah, you do hajj. You know, that's the physical part of it. And then you say, there is the spiritual part of it, that's ihsan. That has to do with the ruh. وَأَمَّ الْإِحْسَانُ فَقَالَ مَنْ دَرَى أَنْ تَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَى إِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ إِنَّهُ يَرَكَ هَذَا وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيِّدْنَا مُحَمَّدٍ عَلَى عَلِيهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمَ آمِنْ وَأَخْرَ دَعْوَانَا عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَالْعَفُو مِنْكُمْ Ana lamgen don wuti cha maka muy jalaba muy turai muy bep accessoire buy joge maka ana lu ngeen di wuti maka lepp lo xamni da ngeen koy jeli ji ba dubai lepp lo xamni da ngeen koy jeli ji manam fofu nga xamni mom modi cha maka tul mukarram amna fi nga xamni mom modi ci salum jidda salum jidda nek fi ca 48 rue fleuris angle paul hall muy li nga xamni mom modi hijab yi nga xamni kat mom la jigen ñu di muro muy li nga xamni mom modi turai muy zamzam muy lepp lo xamni da di abaye wala sijada lepp li nga xamni mom ngeen ci beug ñew len fi nga xamni mom modi 48 rue fleuris angle paul hall da ngeen beug li nga xamni kat mom modi oud wala ambre vip muy parfum yu amana yoy di baye ko makatul mukarram wala fofu nga xamni mom modi kat ci dubai jalaba ya ngok kurus ya ngi fi mbaxane ya nga fa parfum oud ya nga fa sijada yu bax ya nga fa kamin ya nga fa lepp loy soxla te muy juge mak te muy juge dubai ñewal fi nga xamni mom modi salum jidda 48 rue fleuris angle paul hall marché sandaga dakar bazin yu bax sax am nañ ko bazin yu bax 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 ci salum jidda rawatina nak lem yo xamni ña nga juggé mak yi miel delal gaw 77 356 32 32 77 356 32 32 wala 77 562 24 24